Hey everybody, Eric from Live Aquaria. Welcome to another episode of Divers Den Deep Dive. Today I'm here to tell you about the earmuff wrasse. While not uncommon or rare, the earmuff wrasse, Helicores melasma pomus, are not abundant in the hobby. When these wrasse are offered for sale on Divers Den, they are purchased almost immediately. Compared to some other species of wrasse, the earmuff wrasse may lack some of the darker contrasting colors. However, it leaves an indelible mark in your memory when seen for the first time and you will quickly recognize it thereafter. The earmuff wrasse has a wide range of habitat and can be found throughout the Indo-Pacific from the Cook Islands, Cocos Keeling, Indonesia, Australia, and more, where they can be found swimming near rubble, coral, drop-offs, reef walls, and even moderate depths in search of their next meal. Like other halicori species, the earmuff wrasse will feed on an array of items such as small crustaceans, snails, bivalves, serpent stars, and polycate worms. Earmuff wrasse will also appreciate a deep sand bed to burrow and sleep in. Multiple structures consisting of rockwork and coral will offer areas to swim in and around while hunting for copepods and other invertebrates. Earmuff wrasse are considered peaceful and will fare well with other wrasse species. In species of its own genus, such as the Melanaris wrasse, yellow and purple wrasse, and even multiple earmuff wrasse with the ideal harem type setting of one male and multiple females. Male earmuff wrasse will exhibit more color with mature specimens sporting an overall red color. Earmuffs are a larger species of halicories, possibly growing to 9 inches under optimal conditions. Feeding the earmuff wrasse is usually not a challenge since they will accept brine shrimp, mysa shrimp, and krill. Some may even accept quality marine pelleted foods once conditioned and acclimated to the aquarium. As with all marine fish, be sure to enrich the food with Vitacom or Cellcon a couple of times during the week to provide maximum nutrition. Earmuff wrasse will not bother corals, however, they will hunt and eat smaller ornamental crustaceans and snails. If you're interested in adding an earmuff wrasse to your aquarium, be sure to sign up for our Diver's Den email alerts that will give you daily notifications of when new aquatic life is being offered for sale on Diver's Den. Simply go to the Live Aquaria site and click on Diver's Den, and then click on Email Alert Sign Up, where you will be prompted to fill out the required fields. Thanks for watching today's episode of Diver's Den Deep Dive Earmuff Wrasse. Until next time, feed, siphon, repeat.